is that we cannot create a world on the basis of everybody doing only what they feel like. We absolutely can create a world on the basis of everybody doing what they're willing to do. So I, I want to tell you a tiny little story that I had no idea I was going to tell you, but is very relevant, and some of you have heard it. It's a story that involves my nephew, um, and therefore my sister. Um, so that brings up a lot because my sister is dealing with cancer for the last on and off for the last several years and is no longer my active partner. She's not working, so um, that's pretty significant for me. This happened many years ago. He's now a, a thriving human being who has a big eye and big room for for the you and the we that is astonishing, blows my mind. At that time, he was three. Um, and um, parents, uh, uh, grandparents were staying in a downstairs room. And in the morning, he's banging on their head, above their head in a, in a you know, in some kind of a bat or stick or something. And so in Bal, my sister says to him, Seeing you bang the, on the floor, I'm worried about our guests because I want them to be able to sleep for as long as they want. That, that's a strategy, of course, but it is a colloquial way of expressing a need to a three-year-old. Would you be willing to bang on the sofa instead? So you see that this is already in that consciousness. It, she's not telling him, don't do it, taking it out of him, or blah, blah, blah. And th that's not the big deal. The big deal is what happened afterwards, which is he said these words, I don't want to, but I'm willing. That's, that's what I mean by that key difference. And so when she says, how come you don't want to? He said, it's not waking me up. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I hope, I really hope that all of us can have that level of clarity. That's what, what the big I is. If, I, if I'm using your language. He knows what, what works for him and what doesn't, very simply and easily. Then she says, then why are you willing? At three years old, he could articulate these words, because I want to consider you. That's the, you know, as an aside, that's the quality that happens when somebody is never forced is that they find the natural giving. But the point of the story in this context is the distinction between want to and willing. And so I bank, I, I'm going to say it dramatically and provocatively, I bank the future of, of the world on our capacity to mobilize willingness to do all that needs to be doing. Because not all of it is fun. Not all of it is intrinsically fun. And all of it needs doing for us to be able to sustain ourselves. So there's, there's got to be people willing to do whatever is necessary to do. That's, that's, that was my breakthrough, is recognizing that if we, if we find willingness, then everything can be made to work. <laughs>